Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Alternative Input, the only live stream on the internet. And I am here with a game by the name of Death and Taxes uh, by Placeholder Gameworks. <laughs> uh, huge shout out to them. They were very nice to send me a, uh, a key very quickly actually when I reached out to them. So thank you so much. Thank you. And um, yeah, so this is a uh, like text-based... Well, that's no, not it's not text based. It's a narrative uh kind of adventure game, I guess. Sort of point and click, I suppose. Um uh dry comedy. Um fairly um papers please inspired. Uh it's not exactly the same thing. It's not exactly going for the same thing, but for what it's worth, uh, it is fairly similar. There's uh actually a fair amount of voice work in this, so I was actually rather impressed with that. And the art style is, uh, it's cute. I like it. It's a sort of penciled on sort of art style, kind of a, kind of a, like a digital comic type look to it. I'm, I'm into it. I like it a lot. It's, uh, it's on Steam. I don't know if it's coming to other platforms or not. Um, but for what it's worth, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm about an hour and a half in, so, uh, you know, I do recommend this game, so if you're avoiding spoilers or anything, as a heads up, I am about an hour and a half in. I'm not going to play very much. Uh, I'm not going to finish the game on stream like I did with the last one. I didn't really plan on that. Uh, but yeah, so, but uh, as a note, I am specifically day 15 as my specific uh, note here, and I've been playing for about an hour and a half. I don't really know how long the game actually is. I hope I don't finish it. <laughs> it's not really supposed to be the point of these, but... Whatever, I guess. So, let me move that over, and, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's check this out. So, let's see here. We are on day 15 here. I am the Grim Reaper. Oh, I got some, uh... Yes! You did it, Reaper. You have achieved it. Your grandeur grows with every passing moment. Soon we'll be but mere motes beside your blazing glory. Bask in my splendor, O oh mirror. It blinds, O oh sovereign. Forty thousand corpses for the bridge of advancement. Carry forth your deed of darkness, Reaper. But stop before it's too late. Already getting a bit late as we speak. The dusk nears. So I have a haunted mirror that's uh, complimenting me on my appearance here. Uh, this is mouse driven. It's not picking up my mouse, probably because I set it to not pick up the mouse, because half the time when I do that, it picks up the regular Windows mouse. So uh, my bad on that, but there is an actual mouse cursor. Um, I don't think this game has controller support. So, uh, you can customize your, uh, little Grim Reaper. Uh, I got, uh, the Eye of, of, uh, Anpu, which, uh, made it so I can be, uh, Mr. Death Doggo, which is cool. And then, uh, you can get other outfits as well. All cosmetic doesn't really, uh, change anything specific with the game. Uh, but I like that suit. And then, uh, yeah, that was another one I got. Yeah, this is, uh, this, this is your Mr. Standard Man. Mr. Standard Skellington. So these are all pretty good, but uh, then I found uh, Mr. Cthulhu face and I rocked that for a while, but I'm definitely sticking with Mr. Doggo. Definitely sticking with Mr. Doggo here. So let's get into an actual day of work here. Poor Grim Reaper, with all that. Here's an average day. Uh, these are your, uh, these coins are your indicator timer that you have to uh, complete your task within a certain amount of time. Here's a little uh, your cell phone that updates you from uh, repercussions of the previous day, uh, people that you choose to live or die. That's pretty much the main part of the game is that you become the Grim Reaper uh, by a mysterious man named Fate, and you have to decide who lives and dies. Um, and that's the long and short of it. And then uh, for specific days, you get specific quotas on what you have to do. Our quota for this one is a total of six humans have to die. At least three unemployed people have to die. Uh, one person over the age of 60 must die. Okay. So that's fine. Uh, 
Boss says, you gotta go. That's fine. Uh, you can... <laughs> you get all these, you get a little profile, a uh, little bit of uh, funny flavor text for... Uh, all these different people and everything. Unemployed slash co-writer. Um, yeah, you. So let's see. Is that that's that's three unemployed, right? Yeah. Okay. And we have eight here, so let's see what else is going on here. Should have found a new housekeeper and method of control. Okay. Okay. You can live. Assistant. Hmm. Let's see, we're at three, we're not at six yet, so. Technically speaking, I can only spare one other person in this list here. Pharmacist. Stay at Oh no, stay at home parent. Oh crap. Alright. Uh Oh crap. Okay. Uh damn it. Uh Sorry. Sorry. I guess the other one's gonna have to be a stay-at-home parent, too. Is that everybody? No, I haven't marked anybody else for death yet. Okay. Uh, oh, I already spared my two, then. So, yeah, the rest of these gotta go. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah, he's unemployed. He's... Sorry, dude. Gotta go. Okay, so that's eight. You make a final decision. You gotta mark all the paperwork, otherwise uh, you're counted as uh, not uh, finishing your tasks efficiently. And then usually when you finish up your day, uh, you head back up, check in with your boss. Good evening, Grim. I hope you are doing well. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week on your own? Just so. Even we cannot stop the constant advance of time. Well, let us quickly go over the usual administrative matters. The papers. Papers. I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay! Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Oh well. What must be done? Speaking of, yesterday marked a significant moment in your career. Are you content with your evaluation? Perhaps one day you can be a great worker. This reminds me, have you any questions? It has been a while since we had a personable dialogue. What do you mean? Oh, nothing of the sort. The world, and the people therein, create the situation themselves without our interference. Our data mongers assemble, collate, and examine wide swathes of data and calculate the parameters for the necessary equilibrium. We do not directly cause deaths, although our choices can modify the structure slightly. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Ah, uh, the complexity of time. Imagine that it is not a fixed and stable entity. I am sure you did not think only 15 days have passed since your arrival. 
Considering the frequency and magnitude of events in your moderately sized region, time is an inconsistent flux. While you rest, days, weeks, months may pass at different intervals. Profiles from diverse moments appear on the same day, interlaced within a rhizome of time and space stretching beyond mere four dimensions. That is why causal links are difficult to establish and the equilibrium is of unfathomable complexity. Mm -hmm. Anything else? You are a death spawn. I crafted you out of different materials. The store and places else? No. I am instead particular to this game called Go. Hey, less plays Go. Pleasing, I play Go. Less violent than imperialistic. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Until tomorrow, Grim. There's a dry, darker wit to it, and uh, and yeah, you uh, get money at the end of the day. Um, if you choose to uh, kill everyone or spare everyone, I believe they actually consider that uh, insubordination, and you get docked your pay for that day. Uh, there's also a shop down here. Shiver me timbers! Ye sure can't get enough for the Emporium. I don't remember his name. He's very funny though, and he also has a. Uh, he has a uh, story for every single one of these. Uh, some of these are just cosmetic items and they're designated as clothing. There's also widgets, which uh, usually go on your desk. Uh, there are ones that don't, like the haunted mirror I bought from here and that goes in my room. Um, and some of them have purpose, some of them don't. Let's see, this uh, snow globe is uh, very expensive. Uh, let's see what's going on here, a coin that any buried treasure. All right. Good. Don't need any of that for right now. Uh, but yeah, the whole game is uh, uh, can be mouse driven. Uh, you can you do also have some input with the uh, keyboard, but not very much. So really, this this game could come to switch, like if nothing else. All right. Let's see what's up. Remix the music here. Is this the banger? This is not the banger. How did I turn it off? Oh yeah, this is the one. Sorry, there's a lot of text in here, so my apologies for not reading all of it, but I, I, I will be the first to admit I am not the best public reader, so, uh, yeah. Alright, so, uh, two humans have to die. Uh, the humans on the opposite ends of the profile bundles must die. On the opposite ends... And this is something I kind of enjoy, is that uh, a lot of the time, it actually, um, uh, it doesn't really, it, sometimes the instructions are very unclear. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very interesting. put these in here. Let's see here. Veteran-in-chief, junior researcher, veteran, and a typist. Oh, also in some specific cases, the profiles will actually tell you information that you can take as uh, 
true or not. I had one that actually told me to fuck it and just kill everybody, uh, which I chose not to follow. But then there was another one that specifically told me don't kill this person. <laughs> so and I did adhere to that one. So okay, so junior editor and veteran or chief editor in chief and a typist. You, I guess. Then let's let you live. I, I want to be nice to veterans. I support my veterans. As the Grim Reaper, I support veterans. A controversial opinion, I know. Bingo, bango. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My fellow colleague, I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Why, I would be happy to, sir. Should I become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique, after all. I have much experience. <laughs> sure, why not? Why not? I shall continue my contemplation. But for now, it is time for daily feedback. Ah, all the files are in order. Excellent work. You are a testament to meticulousness. This cat is an asshole, by the way. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. Yay! See if there's any good items. I usually, uh, this is the flow I was going oh, with eventually, where I was like, I do actually kind of want to. Let's see here. Once you've already, wait. Once you've already made the choices and are passing through again. Once you've already made the choices and are passing through again, Elsa can't show much anything. That's how things work, okay? What? The base of marble plate of yore. The arms melted from the cannons of a galleon. A socket, a shell of a ferocious sea monster. The shade made from the skull of the beast of Hogwarts. The coil bent from the thorns of a rose bush in Guiana. I, me drinking buddy, a master electrosmith, built this illuminator. He also loved to spark me drink and laugh gleefully when me whole jaw sizzled. Pranked him right back by knocking his teeth out. <laughs> All right then. In the day, Mirror's got nothing new to say. There are these other rooms, and I'm curious to see if these unlock as you go on. Uh, they have yet to do so. Hey, look, there's the boss. Just kind of hanging out. It's cute. All right. Wait, what? What? All of these have the same... Okay. Uh... the bottom row have to do oh god oh god I completely messed this up I have no idea which ones were oh no <laughs> I didn't mean to do this at all oh crap oh crap all right um this music's bumping though it's bringing down my uh 
my worry here. Oh, crap. Okay. So, in theory... If I can just exploit... how these overlay. Oh crap, that's not how these were at all. Oh no! Ah! Oh, I have no idea how these were. Oh crap. Oh no, okay. I just still don't know what this means though. That's really... Flower, coins, art. Huh. I I guess they all gotta die. Cause I don't know which one was what. And I'll get less in trouble if I just kill all of them as opposed to letting them all live. Oh boy. Alright. That's what that means. Peace and money, but not... Huh. Well, I completely fucked that up, so... My bad, seven people that I murdered horribly. Oh, death... I got the Deathbringer achievement. Oh, jeez. And I'm gonna get yelled at by my boss. Okay, listen. You are not supposed to mark every profile to death, yes? I thought I made the point rather clear. I'm sorry. All our choices have serious consequences. Why would you do this? I messed up. I am glad you see the error of your ways. Alas, we cannot undo this mistake. I know it is not easy making these decisions, but that is what I am for. Trust me, and I will guide you. Understood? Yes, sir. I hope we will not have to repeat this discussion in the future. Good night, Grim. Oh, he's so disappointed in me. Yeah, and I got docked pay because I fucking murdered everybody. <laughs> I was fucked anyway. Oh, God. All right. Okay, how about we not fuck this up this time? Alright, so... Yeah, don't just rearrange the fucking shit. <laughs> Everything's on fire because I fucking murdered everybody. Oh. Every other profile has to die. So if I start there, then it has to... Oh boy. Or does it literally mean, like... So I'm guessing what that specifically means is they can't be touching. Oh boy. Alright. Um... Theoretical beekeeper. <laughs> yeah, nah, dog. Tech support. Eh. You're fine. Okay, so... Nanny. Very sorry. Archaeologist. Very sorry. And then in the meantime... Ah, she's a time. She'll, she'll pick things up. Crime scene investigator. See, I'm glad I let her live. 
Economic consultant. Yeah, you probably do good for the world. Unemployed. Well, you fucking... You lucked out this time, buddy. I need to turn that off. That's distracting. I still don't know what that means. Yep. Mirror's got something to say. Hey there. What you up to, kiddo? Sure you are. The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? Starting to look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Grim. Reaper. <laughs> of course not. You're pure and clean. It's not as if life and death are directly in your control. No wonder fate picked you for the crafting pot. I don't actually know if this game has multiple endings or not. Uh, it seems fairly linear, at least from what I have observed, but I don't know. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? I think I have reached a conclusion. Appreciate it. Now, you might find this shocking. Truly, I have decided to set myself upon the path of grand artistry. I shall compose a novel most illustrious. One that will explain everything. Certainly, once it is finished, you will be the recipient of the first copy of the first printing. Anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Uh, the tedium of profiles. Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. Your adherence to the rules is admirable. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. <laughs> Let's see if there's any items going on. Batten down the hatches. Tis a storm of sail. Those are all days. All of them. <laughs> Sounds cool, but I don't really. So we'll uh, we'll finish up with one more day, and then we'll call it. Last three have to die. I'm counting on the accuracy of your judgment. So it literally means the bottom three. Science teacher. Network engineer. Virologist. What is, a vir what is virology? If that's a real thing or not. Accountant and CEO, you both get to live. Wow, CEO at 40, good job. Shit. Policy consultant. Tour manager. All right. Is 
See what the boss has to say. Grim, uh, why are you here? Oh, right. The daily... Uh, always in positions when I have important research to perform. Uh, let us get on with it. I see the exact amount of profiles necessary. Good job, I guess. Yes, that should suffice, I imagine. Questions. Questions, Grim. <sighs> Fine. I have trouble finding inspiration anyway. Perhaps your questions will assist me. Make sure they are deep and meaningful. No idea. Our immortality precludes us from such knowledge. Yet, I imagine it would be a pleasant release. Any other questions? Not in the sense that humans consider it, no. Hardly. Any other questions? Because they seem to find themselves in life-threatening situations all the time? Life is unpredictable and lacks an innate meaning. I imagine it is up to them to make their lives meaningful. Even if it sometimes ends up being fatal. Any other questions? Unlikely. One must make do with what they have. Art does seem an attempt of immortalization, as humans feel the ever-present threat of death. A hybrid of entertainment, meaning-making, and the preservation of a facet of identity, carved into matter that might outlast the being itself. At least until all matter ceases to be. <laughs> Any other questions? Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. Yeah, we'll take one last look at the shop. Cor blimey! You're looting! All beware. Gears of the Beast. Fidget spinner. But yeah, that's uh, that's Death and Taxes. Uh, I think it's really funny, and I think it's really fun. I think it's a cute little game and a cute little idea. Uh, it is on sale for ten dollars currently, but I think that sale ends literally in the next like two days of recording this. So take that for what it's worth otherwise it's full price tag is uh 12.99 i believe uh but i i definitely wholeheartedly recommend this game this i i i really dig this i'm probably just gonna keep playing this after i'm done with this so but yeah that's that hope you all enjoyed and have a great rest of your day i don't have a fade out or anything hands are hurting.